Campaign 2008, from the White House to the State House. Join us as the Illinois Channel connects you to the candidates, the conventions, and the issues that will determine America's future and the future of Illinois. Next, from Springfield, Dr. Steve Sauerberg, the Republican candidate for the U.S. Senate race, releases his plan to fix the nation's health care system. His comments and reporters' questions run about 30 minutes. Good afternoon. I want to thank you all for joining me here in Springfield to discuss one of the most single, most critical, one of the single most critical issues facing families and individuals today, an issue I know quite a bit about, and that's health care. Before I begin, I want to say a special thank you to Dr. Retta and Dr. Cahill for joining me. Dr. Johnson is on his way. He called me but did get waylaid delivering a baby. They're here to share their stories and their perspectives if you desire, and it's all on the crisis we face in the health care system today. My campaign has taken me all across the state, and I've spoken in front of people from vastly different economic, social, and religious backgrounds. No matter what the topic, when I'm done speaking, all anybody ever wants to talk about is health care. People are overwhelmed and scared. They're overwhelmed with the cost of health care. They're overwhelmed by the complex paperwork their insurance companies and the government make them fill out to get the health care benefits they were promised and deserve. But most of all, people are scared that they will lose their health care coverage. People want to talk to me about health care because unlike Dick Durbin and other career politicians in Washington, when I talk about health care, I speak with the benefit of a lifetime of hands-on experience. For over 25 years, I have served local communities as a dedicated and caring family physician. I started my own success successful family practice in 1985, which has grown into the Family Medical Center of LaGrange and now serves over 10,000 patients. Being a family physician is the most rewarding profession in the world. Patients trust me with their care and in some cases their lives. It is with great sadness that I stand here before you today to report that our health care system is on the brink of implosion. Health care has simply become too confusing, too expensive, and totally inaccessible for too many Americans. Dick Durbin has had his chance. After 37 years on the government payroll, what legacy has Senator Durbin left when it comes to improving health care in this country? Over 40 million uninsured, skyrocketing health care costs, and an out-of-control legal system driven by the unscrupulous trial lawyers who fund his campaigns. Dick Durbin can talk all he wants about health care reform, but the results of his time in office simply speak for themselves. Dick Durbin offers the same answer to health care that he does for every other challenge facing our nation. Let the federal government fix it. While the federal government may have provided a lucrative career for Senator Durbin and his family, it should not be in charge of our health care system. Let me be crystal clear about this. Experience has proven to me time and time again that socialized, government-run medicine will destroy quality health care in America. Let's be brutally honest for a moment. A government that can't secure its own borders is in no position to run the nation's entire health care system. A government that can't be trusted to spend our tax dollars wisely and to live within its means cannot be trusted to manage the life and death decisions of families here at home. The government has not earned the trust and confidence of the American people, and politicians in Washington should not gamble with people's lives by leaving health care in the hands of the government. I offer a very different vision for ending our health care crisis. My prescription for reform is straightforward. Your health care, your choice. My plan empowers families and individuals and trusts them to make their own health care decision, not nameless, faceless government bureaucrats in Springfield or Washington. My plan doesn't rely on layer, on layer after layer of new, ineffective government bureaucracy. Instead, my health care plan employs free market principles and the private sector to create a system that emphasizes individual ownership, restrains runaway costs, increases consumer options, reins in the burden that frivolous lawsuits impose on the system, removes barriers to cutting-edge innovations, and most importantly, provides access for all Americans to affordable, high-quality health care. The basics of my health care plan are simple. First, in order to promote coverage for every man, woman, and child in the United States through the private sector, the government needs to encourage portability, competition, accessibility, and individual ownership of quality medical insurance. 
second, to protect patients and providers and to dramatically reduce health care costs, we need to end frivolous lawsuits. Third, we must encourage innovation and promote, promote best practices at all levels of our health care system. Finally, without ending fraud and abuse in Medicare and Medicaid, we cannot fundamentally reform our health care system. First and foremost, my plan emphasizes individual ownership of medical insurance. Tax benefits currently given to employers for providing insurance to employees will be converted to tax rebates for individuals and families or health vouchers for those who don't pay federal income tax. My plan provides individuals with, $2, with a $2,000 tax rebate and families with a $5,000 tax rebate. Individuals and families who secure insurance for less than the amount of their tax rebate can put the difference into tax-free health savings accounts, which can then be used to pay for other medical expenses such as insurance deductibles. Giving families control over the insurance they purchase will also ensure that individuals get the coverage most appropriate for their age and circumstances and customized to their individual or family's needs. At the end of the day, families and individuals should be in charge of their health care decisions, not nameless, faceless bureaucrats in Springfield or Washington. In addition to, facili in addition to facilitating individual ownership, we must encourage portability within our health insurance system. Individuals and families must be able to maintain their desired health insurance coverage regardless of whether they move residences or, change or switch jobs. This portability is critical to fostering true consumer choice in the health insurance market. My plan will bring increased competition and will decrease health care costs by allowing individuals and families to purchase the health coverage of their choice in any state. My plan will also impose penalties on insurance companies that refuse to provide coverage due to pre-existing conditions or other discriminatory practices. We can't allow insurance companies and state bureaucracies to prevent consumers from selecting and purchasing their desired health care plans. By forcing insurance companies to compete locally, statewide, by region, and nationally, rather than just on a state-by-state -state basis, my plan will reduce the cost of health insurance, enhance quality, and breed innovation. In order to protect patients and providers and to dramatically reduce health care costs, we need to end frivolous lawsuits. Under my plan, the federal government will offer financial assistance to states to establish administrative health courts tasked with assessing each case, making a determination about whether a health care provider is responsible for a patient's injury, and if so, what remedy is appropriate. 